ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Octoduck's Pokemon. My name is Zach, but you can just call me Ducky. And in today's video, if you are wondering, Ducky, why in the freaking heck do we have a Mimikyu up there when we haven't even opened up anything? Well, that means you probably haven't seen the last video. In the last video, we opened up a Paldean Fates Elite Trainer box. We only opened up the first four packs. I know I'm really late to the Paldean Fates trend, but I didn't get my pre-orders in in time. Uh, and so this is when I was able to record and this is when I was able to post. My apologies uh, for the late content, but we're still gonna make the most of it. The last video was incredible. And when I say incredible, I mean like freaking incredible. Like it's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna have to go check out that video to see what we get, but um, it's not gonna disappoint, I promise you. So today we're gonna be opening up the last five packs from this Elite Trainer box. The last four, the first four were in the last video. So you gotta go check it out if you wanna see all the amazing pulls. But today, our goal is to go at least one for five, which is kind of ridiculous because I did end up going four for four in the first uh, four packs. My goal overall was to go five for nine. I believe we'll hit at least six or seven for nine, which will be awesome, just awesome. But anyways, let's just get right into it. The only pack art that I need to get still is the Pikachu uh, and we have one attempt at it. So let's do it this way. Let's do it, um, do a little of this, do a little of that. Um, how about, sure, I like this order. I don't hate this order, we'll do it in that order. Um, anyways, let's do it. Uh, we'll try again with the Sarah Ledge. I already uh, said in the last video that I got a, a Sarah Ledge pack art, but it wasn't like super perfect in terms of like the rip. There was like a lot of over on this end that I'm opening right now, there was like yeah, this is so much better. We're gonna keep this one instead. Uh, there was some rippage of the uh, the foil, but now that we opened, or we got a good opening on this one, I'm not gonna, not even gonna bother with the first one that we opened. We're just gonna keep this one. All right, here's a code card, one, two, and done. Make sure to let me know what you get from that. Excuse me. All right, here we go. Paldean Fates opening, part two, first reaction, whatever you want to call it. You got a Metal Energy, Clobopus, Varum, Frigibax, Mashif, Netball, very playable card, or at least it used to be. I haven't played in a long time. I don't know, that's one of those cards that I'm chasing. Oh, we've got a Flittle. I keep forgetting how quickly these shinies come up in these packs. So we've got a Flittle, um, one for one already. Awesome, awesome, amazing. Uh, uh, and it's a shiny, cool. Uh, and we've got a reverse holo rare because I'm the king of reverse holo rares of a heat Rotom and our rare is a Cyclozar. So I'm already pulling doubles. I already have that Cyclozar, but I'm not gonna complain. We've got this gorgeous little shiny. All right, yeah, yeah. Starting things off one for one. The vibes continue, the good vibes continue to roll. That's what we're here for, y'all. We're here for some good vibes while opening Pokemon cards, enjoying what we do, um, and hopefully, you know, it reaches a big enough audience that, you know, everyone else joins in, you know? I don't know what I was trying to say there. I think, I can't remember if the, the yeah. I think I'm gonna keep this Tinkaton too. And y'all don't really care about this. It's more for my personal collection. I like to, uh, one, two, and done. I like to keep uh, a full set of pack arts from each new set. Uh, so yeah, that's just something that I want to do personally. It doesn't really affect this channel whatsoever, but uh, I think it's cool. We've got Paldean Student. Search your deck for a Pokemon that doesn't have a rule box. Reveal it and put it into your hand. For each Paldean Student card, not including this card in your discard pile, you may search for an additional Pokemon in this way. Then shuffle your deck. Okay. Uh, so it's basically look for a Pokemon uh, that isn't an EX or V or GX or V Max or whatever. Interesting. Um, I guess I could see where it would be useful. Uh, I, I think there are other ways, better ways of doing it in the meta right now, but you know, to each their own, it'll probably find its way uh, into some decks. All right, Scrafty, I think this is our shiny slot, right? Yes, so it's a Charmeleon, we have no shiny. Uh, we can still get an illustration rare or a special illustration rare. We got a reverse holo rare because I'm the king of reverse holo rares. Rev of Room and our rare. Oh, it is a Charizard EX, the uh, star of this set, if I do say so myself. So, uh, Flittle, I wouldn't usually do this for a regular EX, but it's Charizard and uh, people love Charizard. So it's probably worth 
more than the average EX. You know, the average EX is worth about what? Five, two bucks, two bucks. So this is probably worth, worth maybe five to 10. I don't know. I haven't checked the prices on this set yet. And it's too early to check the prices. Y'all do not be checking prices for this set until at least two weeks uh, out from the set releasing because the prices are artificially inflated. There's not a lot on the market. And as people open more packs, they're gonna start selling their cards um, and the price will go lower and lower and lower. So, oh, that's unfortunate. We weren't able to preserve a Pikachu pack art. We'll have to wait for future openings. But that's my little economics of Pokemon lesson for you today. Do not check prices and say, oh, this card is worth one, two, and done. Worth, you know, so-and-so dollars, uh, you know, and it's only a week after release. It's gonna go down. I promise you it's gonna go down and you're gonna feel sad. You're gonna be like, oh, my card was worth $100 and now it's only worth 25. That's just how it goes in the Pokemon TCG. So we got a Paldean Wooper, Tandemouse, Mankey, Flittle, Swoobat, Electric Generator, one of those very playable cards. Gengar, why is Gengar only an uncommon, y'all? Hashtag justice for Gengar. TM, Crisis Punch, no shiny. Uh, Camerupt, again, why is it an uncommon? Kind of sus. And our rare is a Houndstone. Another double, another double. That's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy that we already have two doubles. All, all of our quote unquote, like holographic or regular rares, whatever you want to call them, have been doubles so far. Very disappointing, at least in this opening. Like, obviously, I've, everything in the first opening was new because I hadn't opened the set yet. Second to last pack here. Whoa, that was an interesting rip. Uh, the Sarah Ledge. Everyone really likes these Pokemon. Personally, I'm not a huge fan. I think they're a little over-designed. One, two, and done. They're like, oh, they're like trying to be Gallade so hard. Um, it, it just, I, I don't vibe with it. I just don't vibe with it that much. But hey, to each their own, right? You're, you're totally entitled to your opinion just as much as I am to mine. We've got any fighting energy. Execute. Unless that opinion is absolutely as bad. In which case, you are not entitled to your opinion. You're just not. Toad School. Ultra Ball. Mousehold. Do we get a shiny here? Not. It's not time for a shiny yet. Moonlit Hill. One spring each player's turn. That player may discard a basic psychic energy from their hand in order to heal 30 damage from each of their Pokemon. Uh, here's our shiny slot. It is a reverse holo rare because I'm the king of reverse holo rares. Mimikyu. This one originally came out in Scarlet and Violet based, I think. Correct me on that if I'm wrong. We've got a Oink Lone, uh, and our rare is another dub pack, but at least it's a Raichu. One of my favorite Pokemon. I think it's my favorite electric type up there with Ampharos. Um, but probably top five Pokemon for me all time. Absol's up there. Um, Surfetched, Xerneas. I think Raichu's up there, yeah. It's gotta be. Y'all, we are down to our last pack here. And if you are uh, new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, thanks for checking this out. If you haven't seen the first part of this ETB opening, go check that out first and maybe see what we got beforehand and see if we get the be better luck on this one. Um, but I'm about to do something a little bit weird, a little bit wacky, but it's what we do every first last pack on the channel. Not first pack, what am I talking about? Um, so, you know, I'm gonna do it. Uh, and if you are fans of the channel, I appreciate you stopping by once again. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my little spiel now. So I'm gonna send you all the good vibes. Ready? All the good vibes have been sent to you, the Duck Squad. And all I ask in return is that you give me all the good luck. And there are three ways you can do that. Number one, like this video. It's so simple. You scroll down and you click that like button. Number two, comment on this video. You can comment anything you want as long as it's appropriate. And number three, if you are not already subscribed, please consider clicking that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, click that notification bell to be notified every time I post, sometimes Tuesdays, but always Saturdays at 3 p.m. Central Time. Without further ado, let's get into this last pack. I already got my Tinkatuff, so we, we don't need to... Tinkaton, I mean, not Tinkatuff. Tinkatuff is the middle evolution. I already got my Tinkaton pack, so we don't need to worry about uh, getting the pack art there. Here's your code card, one, two, and done. All right, can we get a shiny? We are two for four right now, which is, it's good uh, for a normal set, but not very good for Paldean Fates. We've got a Haunter, Cotney, Maractus, Gimigul, Atticus. What does Atticus say? You can use this card only if your opponent's active with Pokemon as poison. Shuffle your hand to your deck, then draw seven cards. Okay. Donphan, 
electric generator. That's a very situational card. Oh, we missed out on a shiny. Uh, no shiny this time. It's Pikachu. Uh, can we get a illustration mirror? No, we've got a grab locked. And the final card of this video is another Houndstone. So three Houndstone in this Elite Trainer box, um, four dud packs, and we end six for nine, which is a great ratio, great pull rate. Um, so I'm not going to complain, obviously. Like, there's no reason to complain. Uh, but at the same time, would have been nice if we got a little bit more. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Uh, so we got Charizard, we got Flittle, we got some more shinies uh, to add to our shiny arsenal that we literally just started. Uh, how many do I have total now? I have three total, three baby shinies. Um, one illustration where shiny and a lot more than that. Anyways, that is just about going to do it for the video today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Always, always, always do those things. It makes me happy and hopefully my videos make you just a little bit happier. Remember, I get the bad pulls so you don't have to. And with all that being said, I'm Octoduck's Pokemon, and I'm out.